Okay, guys. Welcome back. Hi. A retro machine, the ultimate channel of retro gaming by DZ. A channel managed by DZ. This is the DZ world. And this is, again, the retro machine. One terabyte. Retro machine pro for the PC. The project for the PC. X86. I, I see you are pretty interested on it and uh, that makes me happy because uh, it, uh, it was not so easy project to manage to be honest but uh, considered uh, my donors VIP uh, funded it basically um, help, helping me to to afford the, the hardware required for this uh, image which which use a totally a whole new hardware and uh, you are also interested to build a mini PC to run this image so it's totally possible I will explain you at the release uh, the best hardware for a mini PC with uh, 200 target price because uh, this is not uh, an image for a uh, ultra expensive PC uh, 2000 bucks <laughs> I said 2000 but then I was meaning uh, 200 sorry uh, and this project is aimed for a 200 PC mini PC budget PC not a 2000 mega 3000 mega PC just a 200 mini PC with an Intel N5105 which is the same CPU I'm using for this project it's a CPU with GGG graphic card integrated the graphic chip integrated GPU integrated so it, it, it's very cheap it's a, a CPU for laptop or notebook notebook it's it just uh, uh, become big on retro gaming terms okay it's not uh, a chip for modern gaming at all but it's very good for the retro gaming because as you already saw it managed up to PlayStation 2 so it's very interesting and you can build a, a repeat a 200 mini PC which can manage this project so basically in this new showcase I want to show the exact games for every system and if I have time I want to, uh, also to show you the other custom themes that I have uh, ported for this project and there's a bad news unfortunately you remember uh, there was uh, more than 30 custom teams uh, well I was not able to port all the um, the old all the old uh, custom team of retro machine Omega which is, was the last project for the Raspberry Pi 4 just because the, um, the retro machine pro is based on uh, Bathosera 1.36 which is the very last version of Batosera but it just not support uh, the old uh, custom pin which I made on uh, base of um, Sequelo and those custom team are not in for now but um, uh, my gestalt family of custom team it's in uh, along with the Neon and Neon Next team and uh, some other teams I just show all the team you see Arcade uh, Carbon which is the default team Fit Noir and another uh, team, custom team made on um, based on uh, SQL or Dark which is the, the most uh, res recent version of well, so this version is compatible. The old version, unfortunately, not. All the Gestalt family, 
and the lockdown, uh, which is called Edge on uh, Retro Machine Omega, I, I call it back lockdown because uh, this was the name that uh, 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 me and Jimmy Ga uh, decided to for um, the name they decided for this team. So it was the 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 pandemic era. Uh, Hira, uh, Lockdown, and also Gigo B worked on this uh, team, so it was a six-hand team. I know it's already uh, it's um, also used by other creator like Virtual Man, and um, I am happy that this uh, team uh, it's used all, all also used uh, by other creators because. It's very good. It's uh, I repeat, it was uh, the work uh, uh, combined of six and my work, the Jimiga and Gigo B. We all together worked on this team many uh, many times ago. But I updated this team for Batosera and I added some new tabs and custom exclusive artworks. If I have time, I will show. And the neon black, the neon purple, the new yellow, and the neon next, which is the new wear uh, custom team uh, uh, made uh, especially for the Retro Machine Pro. It's uh, advanced compared to uh, the old neon team for the Retro Machine Omega because this this image very, very rely on uh, video snaps, where the the old PI4 was not uh, uh, capable to manage. Uh, more than 20,000 of video snaps, but this time uh, the, the Intel uh, Intel CPU is up to the task. Okay, so um, stop with talking and um, let's start uh, see all the system for the Retro Machine Pro image. So we start with the 3DO. Oh, sorry the uh, the Genesis 32X, uh, 40 games. You see with the the, the classic um, model of the team, you you see the video snaps after two three seconds. And this is basically the same set of Retro Machine Omega. Okay, the 3DO. This uh, where um, new things start because. Uh, 3DO was not so great on the uh, Raspberry Pi 4, unfortunately, but this time uh, it's different. The set is heavy expanded, you see, it's uh, it's bigger. 1, 2, 7 games, 126, 27 games. So, Alone in the Dark this time is in many other games that defined the 3DO. Um, consider I still testing the 3DO, so um, some game could not work as intended because I'm still testing. Okay, move on. The Amiga Commodore, Commodore Amiga um, AGA 1200 is the same set of Retro Machine Omega, nothing changed there. But of course there's the video snaps, not for games. You see, some games doesn't have it. The Amiga CD32 is the same set of Retro Machine Omega, so basically, uh, you know, I, I started my base is Retro Machine Omega, so all the stuff for Retro Machine Omega is there. Okay, minus the system that Batosera cannot manage. So one, one, three, seven games for the Amiga CD32, the Amiga CD TV, same thing, 50 games, the Amiga, the Amiga. 500 2120 2120 games so 
plenty of games and many of them have the video snapped this time okay the Amstrad CPC the, the fantastic English personal computer is the same set of Retro Machine Omega so the, the, the very new, new novelty is the video snaps and this is the arcade hex I'm still working on it the, because I have to finish yet there's the Final Fight Anniversary Edition Mortal Kombat 2 Plus Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Plus and the Street Fighter 2 Mix which is a great hack for the Street Fighter, the Atari 2 2600, same set 640 games. Okay, Atari 5200 to same set. Oh, sorry, the, the Atari um, 5200 was not included in Retro Machine Omega because there, there was a problem with the emulator. My fault. It's included now with 7-7 uh, uh, seven, seven games. 7-7 seven, seven games. 77 games. <laughs> the Atari 7-8-100, same set. Atari Lynx, same set, 85. Okay, let's let me change the team so I can show you the the team that I ported on this new project. Like for example, that I call now the Gestalt Ultimate. which is based on um, Super Sweet by Harsty, uh, heavy modified with the help of Chimiga and same thing I ported this team adding new tabs for this project ok so Atari ST same set to 6-0 games uh, of course this, this team is not um, on par of uh, the, the Neon Nex because the Neon Nex is very next generation team this is a more mm, less dynamic let's see like that the atomic wave is the same set the commodore 64 cartridge a big set almost 2000 of games Okay, I have to make a call to Arumila there because uh, he, he, he helped me on this set and we still collaborate so it's not finished because we, we want to add new, new stuff on this set which is already very big. This is the, the 64, it's the same set of the, the Commodore 64 Mini so it's uh, more a uh, custom collection. The ColecoVision 1366 games. Okay, and uh, when I show you the system, I, I also show you the teams. Okay, this is the lockdown, you recognize it. The Commodore 64, the main set, which is uh, more than 4,000 of games. Okay, I started the game for mistake. Okay. The retro machine tune made only for this image, also a custom, a full custom soundtrack produced by DC. This is the way full, full producer self-produced asset. Okay. The CPC the Capcom of course This is a collection Daphne Daphne uh, There's a new game Game called Ash Arumila And Super Donkey Kote 
Dreamcast, it's expanded, it's uh, compared to uh, the Retro Machine Omega, it's extended, it's uh, one, five, eight games, so it's bigger. It includes uh, uh, the Win CE games and some uh, hacks, some new new game, uh, Homebrew, okay. Okay, this is the, the family computer, it's the Famicom, it's the Japanese NES and um, a VIP user, uh, you may ask it if uh, uh, the Japanese set are standalone. Basically they are, because uh, as you can see they have uh, his tabs this is different compared to the the um, european western nintendo it, it have uh, its own uh, set and art custom art and tab just like all the 60 and 32 bit console the japanese and the western counterpart this is the uh, the disk system the family disk system it's uh, the same set of Retro Machine Omega. This is the arcade. Okay, the arcade is uh, interesting because there are two sets one based on MAME and one based on FB Neo. And this is the FB Neo set. The Game Boy is the same set of the Retro Machine Omega, uh, 4, 8, 9 games, same for the Game Boy Advance. You see, those are the same basically, the Game Boy Color, 5, 7, 2 games, Game Gear, 2, 1. Okay, and this is the, the very first new entry for the uh, Retro Machine Pro, it's GameCube of course, which is uh, Included now with 62 games. I'm still working on it. It's not finished the set. I'm still working on set because I'm just I'm just um, checking for the games that works with my configuration. Not all uh, GameCube game works. But for example, for with the the new Battlesera V36 uh, Dolphin Emulator is uh, greatly improved and uh, for example Metroid Prime uh, works uh, reasonably well now Resident Evil Super Classic the first Resident Evil for the GameCube Resident Evil 4 the story so far GX 4000 let's change team again Let's move on to this is a, a very nostalgic team. It was from uh, uh, the the King Image, okay. Jaguar, another new entry. It's a very limited set because the Jaguar doesn't work mm, so very good on my hardware. So I've just picked 31 games, but it's included Alien vs Predator, which is the, the best game for the Atari Jaguar, basically. Not a landmark set, to be honest, but it's good to have in. And this is the second arcade set based on MAME. Two, six, two, five games combined with, uh, let's see together, the one, five, one, two. We call it more de than three, three thousand of arcade games, okay? It's gigantic. 
and this is where vastly improved compared to the Sega Machine Omega, of course. The, the Sega Master System, 277 games, television, uh, more than 100 games, the Mega Drive, 1154 games, change theme again. Go back to the Neo Next. Okay. The Mega CD, it's the same thing as the Japanese Sega CD. The Mega Drive uh, Mini. Mega Drive Hex, same as the Retro Machine Omega there. Mega Drive. Okay, Model 3, this is new. This is Model 3 Arcade, which works well. Good, let's see, good. Scoot Race, Cigarette 2. MSX 635, same set of Virtual Machine Omega. Naomi, same set, but it works better compared to Virtual Machine Omega. Way better, to be honest. There's some more power this time. Don't forget the Neo Geo, home system, not the arcade, home system because the arcade already merged into the arcade set. Neo Geo CD, same set. Geo Pocket Color 47 games, the Nintendo Mini, same set of Nintendo Mini, Nintendo Hex, Nintendo 64, another new uh, new stuff because uh, this time the set is complete 303 three games, all the set basically because this time uh, the hardware can manage full managed. Uh, the Nintendo 64, okay. The Nintendo DS. Almost 200 of games. The Nintendo NES. 1351 games. Open board. Should be 100 of games. Right, of course. Indeed. PC Engine, same set. 346 PC Engine CD, same set, still 100 games. Okay, PlayStation 1, it's a, a huge set. You see 609 games, but they uh, they are more because I have to add back the multi disc on CHD uh, instead of PBP, so it should be around uh, 65. 650 games or maybe more so it's a gigantic set it's this it is it's, it's the set of pressure machine omega but there's some new entry it's expanded it's more bigger the PlayStation 2 it's very um, one of the most exciting new stuff of the image because uh, you see almost uh, 100 of games for now but I'm still working on this uh, set because it's very simple not all games works on this hardware so I have to pick the games that works uh, best so you will not see some uh, uh, landmark uh, games for the PlayStation 2 like for example uh, Ratchet and Clank uh, or uh, Shadow of the Colossus or um, I don't know some uh, so, some uh, Sony games or the, me the Metal Gear Solid for example those for now not in because the, the system doesn't manage the PSP 136 games it's a slightly improved set the God of War are both there for example Okay, the uh, the PSP works way, 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 way better on the Retro Machine Pro compared to the Retro Machine Omega. Ports, basically all many versions of Doom for the emulator, but there's also Cape Story and Cannonball. No Brutal Doom for now. The PlayStation Classics, the same set of PlayStation. 
the Sega Saturn, another set that is, is uh, I not see, I not say improved because it was removed on Retro Machine Omega because it just runs bad on the PI4, but not this time. So uh, this time almost 100 of games for the Saturn. So another big set. With the help of X Mojo Mojo 12, I've um, fixed the Saturn emulator, which for all the reason was broken on the V36, but it's fixed. I think it's fixed on the V37. Another thing I'm working now on Saturn, on Saturn are the multi-disc, like for example, Enemy Zero. I will talk about it on the next video, not today. The Scan VM, 64 games, there's some multilingual games, Sega CD, more or less the same set, Super Famicom, 510, same set, the Sharp X68000, same set, the Super Nintendo Mini, Super Nintendo Hex, Super Nintendo CD, those are the very same as the Machine Omega, no, no, no new stuff. The Super Nintendo 1431, 1431, <laughs> Super Graphics, only 5 games, that's all the games that was released on the system, to program it's the American PC Engine and the Turbo Graph CD, same for CD, same set. Okay, 35. The Vectrex, seventy games. The Sinclair, the Nemesis of Commodore 64. Okay, so fascinating system. The same set of fresh machine so it's um, the tour is finished <laughs> okay more than uh, 25,000 of games almost 26,000 of game not final not final at all because I repeat some set I'm still working on some set but I, I was happy to show you all the the set and the difference compared to the Retro Machine Omega, so basically, basically, let's see, and there's also the, the, the custom collection, Silent Hill, I'm working on a nice uh, collection called the Time Machine, which are all the games that define my, yeah, youth, youth, define my youth, I don't know if you agree of these picks, but I'm still working on it. Okay, Tarikan Tomb Raider. Let's see with the dedicated tabs. Some team have dedicated tabs, like for example, uh, Gestalt Sapphire. Vediamo, Sapphire. <laughs> Let's look Sapphire. I say, I say it in Italian. Sorry. Okay, uh, you see, uh, those, those custom collection have uh, dedicated tabs for these teams because I made at the time and uh, was able to use also their Tariken or uh, Ridge Racers should be there okay and the Resident Evil Okay, before finish, I want to show you the, the new bezel that I worked. Let's see together. Okay, the first is uh, 
the retro machine with no the retro machine bezel with no logo and without scan lines. I already showed the only scan lines without bezel for our cab lover friends. Let's see the retro machine without logo and without the the the, the scan lines. Let's try like usual with <laughs> my preferred game which is Final Fight Anniversary Edition of course. <laughs> oh my